ladies and gentlemen. The devastation and terrible suffering caused by the impending famines in northeastern Nigeria, Somalia, South Sudan, and Yemen is a matter of great concern. In each of these four countries, the famines are caused by a combination of factors, but are largely conflict-induced. The conflicts are disrupting food systems and livelihoods. They are stopping aid and commodities getting through, driving food prices up, and putting people's lives at risk. The Interagency Standing Committee, the primary mechanism for coordination of humanitarian assistance, can meet the immediate needs of the people affected if adequately funded. Right now, it cannot. I urge everyone to do what they can to coordinate their efforts and to mobilize the necessary resources to enable emergency and relief activities to continue. In addition to meeting immediate needs, we need to plan now for medium and longer term assistance to support recovery, build resilience, and prevent new crises from happening. CFS has developed the framework for action for food security and nutrition in protracted crises that recommends policy approaches to improve food security and nutrition of populations affected by or at risk of crises, including famines. I urge all stakeholders, public and private, to apply the principles laid out in this framework in the four countries currently affected and wherever there is a crisis that threatens food security and nutrition. The populations of these four countries need our help now. We at the international community need to come together with an effective approach. I am counting on you, governments, civil society, the private sector, all stakeholders to respond in a way that will ensure that short-term relief is properly funded while medium and long-term measures are taken to build resilience and to avoid future famines. All people, even those living in crisis, should be food secure and well nourished.